Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take just a few minutes of your time and talk to you about the Action Force line of accessories. Specifically, I want to talk about the vest. Now, before you is the Spec Ops Republic Guard action figure. This is from Series 1. And as you can see, I've got three different generic figures from Series 1. The Spec Ops Republic Guard, the Urban Combat Republic Guard, and the Riot Warfare Republic Guard. Like any action figure line, you're going to find things that you take issue with. And in all honesty, there's only one real issue that I have encountered with these figures that I have, and that is these vests. Now you can see I've taken this vest and I've started repainting it using the Apple Barrel English Ivy Green and this is the closest approximation to olive drab that I can find but it is a match for the olive drab color on the accessories for this figure like the Blackhawk drop thigh holster here for the Silencer Co. Maxim 9 as well as the drop thigh rig over here with two spare mag pouches and his rucksack. So the real issue here is this. These are the attachment points on the side of the vest. And they have a mushroom peg on them that goes into a hole. Now on the bottom strap, I have not encountered any issues whatsoever on this type of vest for it to secure. On one of these figures, I think it's the Urban Combat figure, I actually glued it on because I couldn't get it to snap in. So let me tell you what I did. I actually took one of my paint brushes with a very narrow handle and I ran it through the hole for the mushroom peg to widen it out and I took these pair of tweezers that you see and I placed it under the tab to hold it off of the body of the figure and then just shoved the mushroom peg in there over and over and over again to get it to go in and if I can bring this up close right here you can see that it's just barely in there any little bit of force and it would come out so I've seen some guys online that have recommended heating the actual figure itself up in really hot water popping the torso off then putting the vest on and snapping it together and putting the figure back together that could work it could also break the figure and I have to tell you guys if you break your action figure you know you're just plain out of luck. You're going to be buying a new figure if they're in stock. And I don't want to risk my action figure. I, I really like these figures. They are collectible. You know, I, I don't have the money to replace these figures. So uh, I don't want to break my action figure. And I, I really don't think that is a viable solution. And it's not something that the end user should have to do with a product like this. Now, you may ask, what is the solution? Well, from a technical and production standpoint, really what should happen is this tab that a mushroom peg is on should be lengthened and the hole here on this tab should be widened slightly to allow the peg to go in. That would be the optimal resolution to, to this issue because the vest is extremely tight and just by lengthening this tab just maybe one if two millimeters would allow it to secure in there without any issue. But due to how tight that tab is and the vest fitting on the action figure as well as the diameter of the port for the mushroom peg to go into, that, that's the primary issue. That's why it won't secure. Now what you could do is take a pair of snips or scissors or an X-Acto and cut the mushroom peg off and just glue the tab together if you don't intend to take the vest off of the figure. The downside to that is if you ever do decide to remove the, the vest, you risk the possibility of breaking those tabs. So it's not the best solution. My recommendation is to try what I did and, and that is simply to put the vest on the figure, secure the bottom tabs, 
and then take a small diameter uh, paint brush and run it through the port and widen it out. You're going to see the plastic stretch is going to uh, turn white and everything when you stretch it and use a, a pair of tweezers like this to insert behind this this tab here and then just shove that mushroom peg in as hard as you can uh, so it will pop into place and I even took the uh, end of the tweezers and and push this in and you can see where it's just barely sticking out and it shouldn't be it should be all the way up next to this this other flap over here and it's not so you know to each his own I know there are guys that have, have tried the method where they are heating the action figure popping the torso off putting the vest on and then putting the figure back together if that works for you and that's what you want to try go for it but that's not what I'm gonna do with my action figures because I don't want to risk breaking them so I just wanted to take a few minutes and share that with all of you to give you a couple options on putting the vest on uh, both in the correct way that it's supposed to tab into place using a mushroom peg or a more permanent solution if you find that doesn't work and cutting the mushroom peg off and just gluing those two tabs together with something like Gorilla Glue ladies and gentlemen there is the special ops Republic Car Trooper by Action Force. If you haven't picked these figures up, head over to Valiverse.com. Check out their store where you can pre-order uh, Series 3. They are up and available for pre-order right now. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Action Force Special Ops Republic Guard Soldier by Valiverse.